His Excellency the President, Dr. William Ruto, is very concerned about what is happening in the North Rift. And he did direct me to convene this meeting as a matter of urgency so that we can deliberate and give him the way forward. <clears throat> he is clear in his mind that he has taken the Bible before God and the people of Kenya, that the people of Kenya must be protected, lives must be protected, property must be protected, and it's something that he has every intention to do. You are aware during our campaigning period, I went throughout the North Rift. I was in Iten, I was in Cabernet. I was everywhere and I gave an undertaking on behalf of my boss that once we are elected and sworn into office, we'll sort out the insecurity issues in Korea very once and for all. I had even indicated last Saturday that I would call this meeting. And by that time, the events of that Saturday morning had not come to our attention. It was part of what we had planned to do and I had indicated that we are waiting for the appointment of CS Interior and the other officers before we do the meeting. But the events of that morning have made it necessary for us to convene so that we can deliver it on the short-term measures we need to take to restore sanity in that area. Nobody, no Kenyan has the right to take the life of another. No Kenyan has the right to destroy property belonging to another person. The Constitution is very clear that life is sacred. We have sufficient laws to deal with these matters. What has been lacking is the political goodwill. And I want to assure you that President William Ruto has given a commitment that he'll apply his office and what goes with it to ensure that peace and security is restored and people can go on with their economic activities without hindrance. Children can go to school without fear. And the people of that area can know peace and live peacefully. I want to say I know emotions are very high in Turkana County. I want to appeal to the leaders of that area to calm down and to take heart. And we can only look for a solution when all of us are calm, despite the intensity and the veracity of what has happened. I want to ask the leaders of that county to exercise restraint, to control their emotions, so that we are able to reason together and be able to move on. We as a national government are equally aggrieved. The police service is in distress. The commandant of GSU is heartbroken. We have lost eight officers in one sweep. As much as the people of Trukana County are aggrieved, our officers are equally aggrieved. And we have also asked them to be calm so that they don't act emotionally. Because ideally, what has happened in the past when you kill police officers, officers move to the area with the brutal efficiency to revenge on the killing of one of their own. And sometimes they can be excessive and hurt innocent people. Just as like I have asked our officers to be calm and to be reasonable, I ask the leadership of Trukana County and the people of Trukana equally to be calm and to restrain themselves so that we are able to make progress. People cannot make good decisions, good decisions where they are emotional. We want to be very objective and that will only happen if first we put emotions aside so that we look for a solution for the years to come and for posterity. The county government serves the people of Kenya in their respective counties. Going forward, we want governors and their governments to be part of the security solutions because they also lead people and they are there on the ground. 
and along the way where it's necessary, those securities are national government function. The security of the people is paramount. Where need be, we'll also ask governors to chip in and apply resources so that we work together. Because even if you build roads, even if you build hospitals, and your people have no peace, there's no work you are doing. Peace is paramount. And therefore, along the way, I'll be inviting governors for a very uh, uh, robust and candid discussion on what role they can play so that we work together with the national government.